This is a complete gaming setup from Amazon and all of these items were the most reviewed ones in their category. Starting with a very exciting item. This gaming monitor has 31,000 reviews. Most of them were very positive, but let me tell you why I'm so excited for this monitor. This is a 2024 release of a very popular monitor brand, Scepter. This brand has consistently been claiming the number one best-selling spot for gaming monitors. And if you look on the product page, there are a few versions and this one has been added recently. It is 27 inch and 100 Hertz. And so at $109, this is one of the cheapest deepest higher refresh rate monitors. Now what I'm mostly curious about is if when we're testing this monitor if 100 hertz is going to be enough. Because this here for example is their most popular model and this is basically a simple 24 inch non-gaming monitor and as you can see on the box this is already 75 hertz and if you're looking at high refresh rate monitors you're usually talking about 144 fps 165 but when I saw this I was like this is a steal 109 dollars high fps but will 100 hertz or 100 fps be smooth enough we will test it later i'm very curious there's one display port on the back two hdmis i'm gonna plug in one of them then an audio jack and the power now for the pc in usual fashion you will find three links in the description 500 1000 and 2000 dollar budgets we try to update them monthly and when we do we add a month to the title so you can check if it's up to date so you can check out those links to find the best parts this one here costs 500 dollars and i think that's gonna be plenty to game in 1080p 100 hertz at least if the games are competitive type of games like valorant maybe fortnite minecraft csgo this pc will not play red dead redemption in 100 hertz but we're not going after that with this setup all right so we have to choose the next item to install there's so many nice things this combo by the way 45,000 reviews and it feels pretty heavy as well the headset this was crazy i think over 100,000 reviews but i also bought something that i usually don't add to these setups however since these speakers were crazy popular and I keep seeing them on Amazon when buying stuff or products. I had to test them out because these speakers are less than $20 and usually when I test cheap speakers they are very bad. However, with 81,000 reviews that were primarily positive... Oof. These speakers are very promising. Another peel. One on the back. That was a nice peel. We can do another one. Nice. nice. All right, we're gonna put both of them in the setup and then test them with the laptop. They come with a USB and then an aux port. I think the USB is for power only. I'm gonna plug them in the PC and then the aux in the laptop. I'll have to turn on the PC so they get some power and the light goes on now. Okay, let's test them. This is a song with a lot of bass. We tested this with cheap speakers and it was horrible. So I'm gonna make it louder. I think this is the loudest they can go. Ooh, okay. This is much better than the cheaper speakers from Timu and stuff that were as expensive as these ones. So honestly, for $18, these are now my favorite budget speakers and they definitely deserve all their reviews. I will let you hear the bass from close once here. This is my microphone. Oh my God. These have a lot of bass, I like them for the price of course. By the way, on the back there is a subwoofer, I forgot mentioning this. It helps a lot to gather some bass. I really like these speakers. All right, for the next thing I cheated a little. I bought two different mouse pads and the reason is that the most reviewed one was one from Amazon Basics. And if you remember my previous video where I built a whole gaming room with only Amazon Basics products, you will remember that very few of these products were actual gaming products. So that's what I'm afraid of with this mouse pad. The packaging is already annoying me. I hate Amazon Basics. Ah, there we go. So this was the most reviewed one. It had 58,000 reviews and it is a complete gaming mouse pad. With that I mean, it's an XXL one. I'm also afraid that it will be bigger than my desk. <laughs> oh no. Now I have to be honest with you, this feels better than I would have expected. There is something a lot of people won't like and that is that it doesn't have stitched edges. Now there are popular other mouse pads that don't have this as well. I think the QCK gaming mouse pads also don't have stitched edges and I've used one for years. It's 
fine if the mousepad is of decent quality. However, I do want to see what this mousepad looks like. So instead of 58,000 reviews, this mousepad had 36,000. And instead of $16 for the Amazon Basics mousepad, this one cost $19. But look at this. It does have stitched edges, but it looks smaller. It also doesn't have any branding in any corner. So some people will like this. It's an empty canvas, but let's compare the size. I'm going to quickly put them on the floor. So the width is exactly the same. However, the height has a small difference, but to be fair, this won't really make a difference. So I'm going to use the K Trio mousepad because while it feels more thick, it has stitched edges. It looks more like a gaming mousepad and it also fits better on this desk. But let's all be honest. I don't think you want to be gaming on an Amazon Basics mousepad. Every time I see this, I think of Jeff Bezos, his head and Amazon Basics in general makes me feel like I'm building a work from home setup. So we're going to be using the K Trio gaming mousepad. Let's put the speakers in the corner of the mousepad. By the way, as you might have seen, the desk isn't from Amazon. It's an IKEA Linman table and this is perfect for a single monitor setup like this. I wouldn't buy another desk on Amazon. It's going to be crappy and more expensive. So we quickly built this one to use for this setup. I will link it in the description. All right, now for the gaming desk, I'm going to choose this one. It's actually not part of the whole video. However, this is the best selling gaming chair on Amazon. Not the most reviewed, but the best selling one. And we built it in a previous video. It's a great chair. I will show the price on the screen and I will link it together with all the products in the description as well. Quick five second interruption. If you want to support the channel completely for free, there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you click it and then add it to your bookmarks, then when buying anything through that link, you will greatly support the channel. So thank you if you do that. Next, I want to take this keyboard and mouse combo because I really want to test the headset out. However, we do need some way to control the PC. Very, very curious for this one. And the reason is pretty simple. It looks like one of those combos that you can buy on AliExpress, for example. However, it had 49,000 amazing reviews. It cost around $33. And yes, just as I expected, it has the look of those types of products, but it is heavier. It has a better grip overall. It feels higher quality. And let's check out the keyboard as well. All right, pretty light. You can kind of bend it. Feels sturdier than the AliExpress keyboards and the typing experience is better. The keys feel kind of mushy, but they don't feel loose and they feel pretty enjoyable to type on. Now, one of the comments said great mechanical switches. However, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. These are definitely not mechanical. Let's check out what's under the hood or if we can get them off. And I think this is pretty much what we expected. This is the bottom of the keycap. Let's put it back on. We do have a peel on our hands here. All right, so now that both are plugged into the PC, let's turn on the monitor. Ooh, they upgraded the menu control of the monitor. It is a single button now that you can press and then move left and right and bottom and up. This is so much more convenient compared to all separate buttons, so much easier to navigate the menu with. But we are at 60 hertz, so I need to fix that. I will also increase the overdrive to high. Okay, so I'm not able to change the panel from 60 hertz to 100. However, maybe if I change windows to 100, the screen will also update. So we're gonna go to advanced display options and then right here, it's at 60 now. Let's set it to 100. Ah, there we go. Now it's 100 hertz. AMD FreeSync is on. We have an AMD GPU, so that's perfect. And so moving this window around, I can feel a higher refresh rate than 75. This is 100. I do feel some difference. It doesn't feel as smooth as 144 hertz. So we're definitely gonna have to test some games. We have two things left and I wanna test both of them because I wanna test the headset microphone and then this here, which is the best selling studio microphone for on your desk. This here is the Fifine K669B. I've reviewed it before. This has 32,000 reviews and the price was $23. It's a simple product, mic with a stand, but it feels high quality. It's pretty heavy and for the price, it sounds amazing. We're gonna test it just like we're gonna test this headset. I've been looking forward to this. Now, this one over here had 109,000 reviews. The price... <laughs> The price was $25. It feels and looks like an upgraded AliExpress headset. It definitely looks and sounds very plasticky. This is like a shiny plastic headset. It is height adjustable, but like this is the max you can do. I'm not sure if this will fit on my head. The cushions are fake leather. That feels so fake. It almost feels like plastic. However, we will give this a fair chance, but ooh, it doesn't feel that good on my head. And the reason is that it's very stiff. Like it doesn't fit well on my head. The bottom is kind of pushing and then the top is pretty loose. It's like clamping on my head, if you know what I mean. Now I'm looking at the manual here and it comes with something to connect to your controller and I'm trying to figure out where that is. Maybe it fell out before. 
I don't think it did. Ah, no, I see it now. It says Microsoft adapter not included. So what it does come with is a controller for the volume and then to mute or unmute your microphone. Okay, so the headset comes with aux and USB. I think that for the PC, we will only need USB. So I'm gonna try with that. And I'm also gonna launch Minecraft. That's a perfect game for this setup. Also to test the screen at 100 FPS. Let's put the microphone over here. We'll plug that in as well and get rid of these cables. We should do some cable management, but I wanna test the setup. Okay. Okay, so I'm testing the headphones. Ooh, definitely some bass. By the way, the Minecraft music is playing as well. We're gonna test the 100 hertz in Minecraft. I think it's gonna be very snappy, but like in general, this headset sounds good, especially for the price. It also looks pretty cool. Like it does look plasticky, but it's a pretty cheap headset. So much better than some other options. I do understand why it has 109,000 reviews, but I do think it will start hurting on your head after a while. It's still giving a lot of pressure here on the bottom. The head cushion is fine. So overall, I think for $24, it is a pretty pretty good buy but don't expect extreme comfort so next is the gaming and then the headset mic and the microphone on my desk test test one two three okay so if everything works right now the mic should be recording me this is how i would be setting this type of range and as i always say if you bring it closer to your mouth it will sound better but it's absolutely fine on your desk like this all right so i'm testing a bit what you hear now is the headset microphone by the way i think it sounds very decent for the price maybe that's part of why this headset is so well reviewed because you can very comfortably game and then talk with your friends and you sound good. Now I played around a bit with the mouse, with the keyboard and then also the 100 hertz monitor and I have to say you definitely feel the difference compared to like a 60 or 75 hertz monitor but it doesn't feel the same as like 144 hertz. So what I would say is this, if you really want a high refresh rate monitor and you're looking for a great option, you have some budget, then I wouldn't really go for this 100 hertz. However, if you're someone who wants a cheap monitor and you would be buying a normal 60, 70 25 hertz monitor then i do think for 10 dollars extra it's absolutely worth it to go for 100 hertz compared to 75 oops because this definitely feels more smooth and it doesn't feel like it's lagging which is what 60 hertz feels like also i forgot to talk about the rgb it does look great i'm honestly very satisfied with this whole setup the keyboard the mouse the speakers the headset like the monitor for a budget setup this is amazing i will link everything in the description one of the videos i'm planning is a whole setup with only amazon's choice products i'm very curious to see if amazon chooses well growing on youtube can be very challenging i use vidiq every day to find hidden opportunities for example like this wish.com video that got 3.6 million views all of these huge creators use vidiq for the ai coach keyword research competitor analysis and finding the best time to post their videos i absolutely love vidiq it has all the tools that you need to grow on youtube and you can try it for a whole month for one dollar it's an exclusive offer they gave me my own landing page the link to this one dollar offer will be on the screen and in my description